Good morning, TVA, and welcome back to Pause Live, where the news is too small for a story too big. I'm Keilani. Today is June 5th, and a day four, and for all the banding choir kids, it's a green day. Today, and for the rest of the year, we're having Chef's Choice for lunch. The library is closed first through third periods today. Mrs. Godrich's to second period library will be in room 102. Mrs. McClurry's second period study hall will be in the cafeteria, and any online students during those periods will be in the cafeteria as well. Uh, attention juniors and seniors, please bring your laptop to history class today. To accommodate and support our modified track athletes and musicians, the junior senior high spring concert will move to Wednesday, June 7th, and the band will play at 6.30 and the choir will perform at 7.30. Our sports banquet will also move to Monday, June 5th. Fre refreshments will be put out will be put out at 6 and the program begins at 6.30. Thank you for your support of all of our student programs here at TDA. Any students interested in a career in the medical industry, there will be a medical camp from July 4th yesterday to Ju er, sorry. <laughs> July 4th to July 26th at various locations. The cost is $75 per camper. Please go to www.beagenesee.com. We will be traveling to Buffalo Shakes Performing Arts to see Mrs. Doubtfire on Sunday, September 24th at 1 p.m. We have 35 tickets and you must sign up and pay for the tickets by this Friday. Tickets are $14 for students and $63 for adults. Tickets are going fast, so see Mrs. Brennan or Mrs. Jordan immediately if you are interested. For varsity boy basketball players or anyone interested in playing varsity boys basketball next year, there will be a quick meeting in Mr. Shane's room this Thursday at 2.30. Please plan on attending if you're interested in playing, bar in bar playing varsity boys basketball next year. Friday and Saturday, Casey Landau and Trinity Herman competed in the All-American and STEM race series at the 39th Jamestown Soapbox Derby event. Both girls were very competitive and did well for the first time racing at such a big event. Casey finished the day eighth in, in the All-American and third in the STEM race. We would like to thank Sean Howard and Jen Lando for being part of the pit crew. Congratulations to Dominic Breton, Billy Slavinsky, and Grant Cornell on their performance at the Section 6 meet Friday and Saturday. Dominic threw discus, Billy threw shot put, and Grant ran both the 3200 and steeplechase. Grant had a very strong run in the steeple, coming in fifth overall and taking over 20 seconds off his PR. A job well done by all. Congratulations to Tayetta Herman as she had a standout performance at state qualifiers, again at West Center the track. Tyra competed against the best in Section 6 with over, six, with over 60 schools. She proved she had what it takes and stood out with being a sectional champion in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 400 meter run. She also broke the sectional record in the 400 meter run. She will compete at the Middletown High School next Friday, this Friday, June 9th for all three. If you see her, wish her luck. Leading her Titan team, to a good overall score at sectional was a sixth place finish. Megan Jackson got sixth place and Libby Price got sixth in the discus. Shop, but they got fifth and 11th place. Anna Slavinsky got third in the bowl, seventh in the 400 hurdles. As always, students from the cell phones and bags are to be kept in your locker and those are not to be worn during school day. So thanks for joining me here at Paul Live and stay tuned for a video from Mike Masters. Welcome to Inside Out Schools. It's the CQ Minute, changing one heart at a time as we develop character by scratching and engraving who we are on the inside. Hey, today we're talking about endurance. If we want to get through the fire, we have to endure. So how do we endure? Well, the first part of that complete student is this, a heart to trust. So when it comes to trust, I think about this great statement, all hard work leads to profit. But mere talk and not doing the assignment will lead to failure, at least that. But the bottom line is we're talking about endurance, we're talking about hard work, we're talking about fighting the good fight, we're talking about finishing the assignment, we're talking about finishing the class, we're talking about finishing. And that takes hard work to do that. It takes focus, it takes concentration. And what do I mean by it? It means patience, patience with the process, of hard work to get that goal 
will bring transformation into your life. And as we wrap this one up, remember, our number one secret to success, our foundational statement, love never fails.